So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to categorize as a diagram question. Let's read the question and see what we can do with this diagram. So the question says the graph shown models the profit y in thousands of dollars. So we know that this is the profit axis and the number of products sold x in thousands for a certain company. So we know this is uh, products also in thousands. Which equation represents this model? Well, what's the model? The model is the graph itself, right? We have to look at, well, what is this graph doing? So what I love about diagram quest questions that are also graph questions is typically if it's a graph question, we can use plugging in, right? So I'm going to say plug in info from the question. It's The question is not directly telling me this information or explicitly telling me this information, but I can get the information relatively quickly from uh, what we have here. And I do that by finding ordered pairs on the graph that are, that are definite, right? I don't want approximations. I don't want to assume that I know what this point on the graph is. I pretty much know for sure that that point right there is 0, 0. I know for sure that this point right here is 60, 0. And I know for sure that this point right here is, let's see, 30. And so, yeah, 30, 50. So I am able now because of that to plug these things in. For instance, this 60 comma zero means when X equals 60, Y must equal zero in the correct answer choice. And it should only work in the correct answer choice, or at least all three of these things should only work in the correct answer choice. So I could try that with, you know, X equals zero, Y equals zero. I can try that with X equals 30. Therefore, Y must equal 50. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this X equals 60 and Y equals zero. Uh, sometimes, you know, I think in the past, I probably would have tried the zero, zero first, but my experience tells me that there might be multiple answers that that will work for, which is fine, which would only mean that I'd then have to retry those answers that still work with either, you know, this 30 comma 50 or the 60 comma zero. So instead I'm going to use 60 comma zero because, you know, at least Y is zero there. And there, I, I increase my chances of there only being one equation that that works for. So let's see. With choice A, if I were to plug in 60, right, for X, I would not get Y equals 0, so that's gone. For choice B, if I were to plug in 60 squared or 60 for X, I would also not get, let's see, let's make sure 60 squared is 3,600. Yes, I would not get 1 18th of 3,600 is not, you know, 50, so that's gone. C, if I plugged in 60 here, I get 60 minus 30, which is 30. 30 squared is 900. 900 divided by negative 1 18th is negative 50. Okay, and then 50 minus 50 is 0, so C works. And then D looks just like C, except we have a positive 1 18th, which means we would end up with a 50 plus 50 for choice C, for choice D. Therefore, D doesn't work. So C must be the correct answer. So hopefully that makes sense on how to utilize an ordered pair from the graph in order to plug in that ordered pair to find the equation that models the graph.